Hey, the mugs and the dames are back. Stick around, I'll tell you about it. Hiya folks, Old Man Grognard here. And today, this is one of those labor of love type things that somebody made that I really, really enjoy. And it's the return of a classic TSR game. And that is the BX version of Gangbusters. That little boy right there, there, there. Me? No, there. That's the BX edition. It's the basic rules. Since it's based on BX, it's based on BX D&D, you know, mold they cook. He's going to come out with an expert book in about a few months from this recording. And let me tell you, he's had this thing up for a few, a couple of weeks, and it is it's fantastic. It's just a great, great book. Here's what it looks like. It's 64 pages, and it's done by Mark Hunt. Now, my full disclosure on this is I did proofread this. In fact, I have a credit in here. It said Proofreaders Glenn Hallstrom, Eric Kyle. So, and it's just, it just, well, let's take a look. Take a look at this. It's laid out, two column, real easy to read. I can practically read this without my glasses, which I really, really like. It's based on BXD&D, so you have your prime requisites, you have your six stats, you have your four classes, which are brutish, educated, connected, and street smart. So they're more types than classes, but you can define them. You can define them better later on as you go along, because that's just giving you the levels. It's six, It's a six-level cap. The expert set's supposed to come out with the, the other six levels, so it's going to be a twelve-level cap eventually. Missile. He's got missile and melee weapons in here, and. You can either have them, like, all do a D6, or you can do variable weapon damage. That's mentioned later on in the book, the variable weapon damage. But it gives you it here on the chart, which is kind of unusual. Okay, he shows you what you can do if you want, what kind of person you want to play. What kind, you want to play a cop, you want to play a robber, you want to play a, a reporter, you want to play a private eye, you want to play... You can play practically anything you want. They just got to fit into the four classes. And I'll show you a little something later to customize that. It tells you all about how to, the police run, how to run rackets if you're going to be playing a gangster game, how to, how to run things like bribery and the numbers. It doesn't get into as detailed as the original does, but it, I think it does it a lot more succinctly. Talks all about, it's got a section on the crooks, on how to run scams and all this other stuff. And it's also got a section on the long arm of the law, how that works, how trials work, arrests, things like that. What I get a big kick out of here is the fact that they, they put, they, they put, instead of a turning chart, like in regular D and D, you get a threaten and roughen up chart that to you roll it just like you're turning based on the level or the hit die of the person or the whatever you're dealing with. And when it says T, you don't turn, you threaten them. It's basically, you, you try and bend them to your will, like a good thug would, like a good thug would. But it, it, it's just a lot, it just seems to be a lot of fun. Here's, here's what they call the, uh, I think random something or other, uh, random, let me look in the book here. Ra random wandering adversaries. These are, this is the adversary section. It's basically your monster section where all these kind of people, different types of people are done up in a monster manual stat block format. So you can run them or what I want to do is say, okay, pick your class and then go back in the book and say, okay, we're running a law enforcement game. So pick from the law enforcement tropes and each one has at least one special ability that comes with that that type of encounter. So take that, and that should do it right there. That should you can customize it. Uh, here's the uh, uh, attack charts because it is descending armor class. So here's the attack charts, and what else do we have here? Oh, here's interesting. This is an optional chapter in the back. Mysterious powers gives you some powers and things like that, and shows you how to play something. They don't want to go. Eldritch, like Cthulhu-esque, Cthulhu 
Lovecraftian stuff. But the, what they want to do is go more of the mystery and supernatural bent. I think chill would be a better analogy to that, a kind of a light chill. You remember all those movies in the 20s and 30s and 40s where they had all these mystics and everything, people like uh, Shandu the Magician on radio or all these guys with turbans and stuff who can talk to the people from the great beyond and all that other stuff. So that the, I like that. That's a good a flavor. I don't know. And here's what the character sheet looks like based on BX. I love it. And this game is going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm running a demo of it in a couple of days from this recording. And he's really condensed. See, I like the first one. I did like the first, you know, the original Gangbusters, but I felt it was ahead of its time because it was in that era of TSR where they felt that anything other than D&D, &D, other than fantasy, had to have its own system. And it had a percentile system, but the problem was it kind of got buried in the book, in the, in the, the, the rule book. It, it kind of got buried because it told you, like I said, how to run rackets, how the law works, how this, that, and the other thing. Well, that's all well and good, but I want to know how to hit somebody. And I want to, you know, I want it to just, like, it's in the first couple, few pages in there, and they do have a skill system, but I just, I, 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 it's like I, I missed it. I felt like I missed it. And it was only later on when I got another box set of it and the third edition book was, oh, okay, it's a percental system. I get it. Anyway, and go out. You can get this a drive through RPG. You can get this for five bucks for the PDF. 20 for the PDF and the print. 15 for just the print. And I would have you go out and get this. It's just, it, it reads great. He's coming out with, like I said, the expert set, and he's got ready ref sheets going. He's got people writing adventures for this. He wants to come out with the GMs, a judge's screen eventually. So I would run out and get that. You'll enjoy it. I think, you know, you, you can't go wrong with this. And it's BX. I mean, I can do, I can run BX in my sleep if I have to. And sometimes I think I have. But anyway. Real easy system, Gangbusters, the BX edition by Mark Hunt. Go get it. So, that's my recommendation. And until I see you folks next time, bye bye <laughs>